for the circuit in figure what resistor connected across terminals ab will absorb maximum power from the circuit what is that power solution we have to find the value of rl for maximum power so rl is equal to rth this is the condition for maximum power rl is equal to rth also we have to find what is that power so that power will be p max and t max is equal to vth square by 4 rl vth square is divided by 4 rl so we have to find the value of v rth to find rth we will turn off all the independent sources this is a voltage source so this will be short circuited also we can see that here this is a dependent source so we will consider a 1 ampere current source here to find the value of rth this is 1 ampere and this will be va let's say this is reference node now rth is equal to va divided by 1 ampere va by 1 ampere now let's say this is current i1 this is current i2 now we will apply kcl at node va apply kcl at node va so summation of all the entering current entering current is 1 ampere is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node so i1 plus i2 i1 plus i2 so 1 is equal to i1 now i1 is va minus minus 120 vo because the polarity is opposite so va minus minus 120 vo by 10000 VA minus minus one twenty VO by ten thousand plus I two. I two is VA minus zero by forty thousand. VA minus zero by forty thousand. So this will be one is equal to. V A by ten thousand plus one twenty divided by ten thousand ten thousand into V O. Now this V O is here. We can see that this V O is equal to zero because here there is no independent source. So this will be zero plus VA by forty thousand. VA by forty thousand. So this will be one is equal to VA by ten thousand plus VA by forty thousand. VA one by ten thousand plus one by forty thousand. So this is. One point two five into ten raised to the power minus four. One point two five into ten raised to the power minus four V A. Therefore, V A is equal to one by answer. So it is eight thousand. V A is equal to eight thousand volt. From this, R T H is equal to V A by one. R T H is equal to V A by one. So this is equal to eight thousand by one. So eight thousand ohm is the value of R T H. So it is eight kilo ohm. Next, we have to find the value of V T H. Now to find V T H, this will be V T H. This will be positive. This will be negative. Let's say this is loop number one with current. Let's say this is current I one. Now apply KVL 
we have already taken i1 here so we will consider it as i3 so let's say this is current i3 we will apply kvl to this mesh 3 let's say this is mesh number 3 we will start from here so this will be minus 8 this will be positive this will be negative so plus 3000 plus 3000 i3 plus 1000 i3 is equal to 0 so this will be 4000 3000 plus 1000 is 4000 i3 is equal to 8 therefore i3 is equal to 8 by 4000 so 8 by 4000 is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 ampere this is the value of i3 we have to find vth so vth is equal to this voltage voltage across this 40 kilo ohm now we have the value of vo so this will be 120 120 into vo vo is 2 into vo is equal to vo is equal to 1000 into i3 1000 into i3 so this will be 1000 into i3 so it is 2 2 volt is the value of vo is equal to 2 volt so this will be 120 into 2 this will be 240 volt 240 volt what second 240 volt is the value of here we will write this is 240 volt now we will use voltage division rule apply voltage division rule so V40,000 V40,000 is equal to VDH V40 kilo ohm is equal to VTH is equal to this voltage which is 240 volt 240 volt into this voltage which is 40,000 divided by 40,000 plus 10,000 so 40,000 divided by 40,000 plus 10,000 so therefore VTH is equal to 240 into 40,000 240 into 40,000 divided by 40,000 plus 10,000 So it is 192. 192 is the value of VTH. 192 volt. 240 into 40,000 divided by 40,000 plus 10,000 is 192 volt. Here the polarity is minus and plus. So this will be minus minus 240 and this will be minus 192 volt so this is the value of VTH now we have the value of VTH and RTH we have to find so RL is equal to RL is equal to RTH is equal to RL is equal to RTH is equal to 8 kilo ohm 8 kilo ohm and VTH is equal to minus 192 volt we have to find P max now so P max is equal to VTH square by 4 RTH so VTH square is minus 192 square divided by 4 into 8000 so this will be P max is equal to minus 192 square divided by 4 into 8000 
वन पॉइंट वन फाइव टू वन पॉइंट वन फाइव टू वैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पी मैक्स 